Hello everyone, welcome to Tic Tac Mirror, my name is Mikhail and this is a review of a very interesting Citizen Diver reference NB1031-53L, also known as the Grand Touring Sport. This diver belongs to the company's higher middle range line called Signature, which means the overall quality is pretty good. The first thing you notice when taking the watch in the hands is its weight. The Grand Touring Sport feels like a true tool watch for a true man, and its sizes aren't at all average. The sapphire diameter is 34 mm. The bezel is 44.5. Overall diameter is 51.5. Height is 51 mm and thickness is impressive 19 mm. On my average 17.5 cm wrist, this citizen looks just ridiculous. The model has a high transparency sapphire crystal with two side anti reflective coating on it, a unidirectional rotating bezel, and a screw down crown with a fancy guard that helps protect the crown from unscrewing. Let me show you how it works. First, you pull out the guard, then you unscrew the crown and operate. When things are done, you screw the crown back down and push the guard back into the case. Everything is pretty easy. The bracelet is awesome, consists of a combination of satin and polished links and looks fantastic. The quality reminds me of the newest Casio Oceanus bracelets. The case back is open and you can see the movement through the crystal. All the visible parts are nicely decorated and add some rich feeling to the watch. But among all that richness and quality, there are a few things I kind of dislike. And the first of them is the clasp. It looks nice and neat, but I would expect to see a diver's clasp on a diver's watch. So, if you like swimming in your divers, be ready to lose the citizen somewhere in the corals. The second thing I don't like about this watch is its painted bezel. I've had an Oris diver with a similar thing for around 4 years, and now there are scratches all over it. And although replacing a painted bezel is easy and cheap, I would prefer just to have a ceramic bezel instead. You may have already noticed this watch is mechanical, caliber 9012, citizens in-house movement, has hacking seconds, manual and automatic winding and power reserve of 40 hours. What makes this watch look authentic is the great cushion-shaped case and the orange minute hand. There is another Grand Touring model without the word sport in the end, and it doesn't look that interesting to me. Moreover, it reminds me of a very popular Italian brand if you know what I mean. So this Grand Touring Sport is an absolutely different story. The case makes the watch feel very solid and the hand gives a touch of holiday to it. Now let's take a closer look at the dial. It is sunburst and the hour markers are applied, looks fantastic. What I don't like quite as much is the execution of the minute markers. On the inner circle they are cut through, a similar technology is applied by Panerai, they call it a sandwich dial. Then there is another circle in between the dial and the bezel and the markers are painted. And the hour markers on the dial are applied, so it looks like the designer didn't know which way to go and went with all the three at once. As the Grand Touring Sport is a diver, it has great amount of loom on the hands and hour markers and shines at least half a night. If you compare the Citizen to other non-tritium watches, it shows a very good result. And overall, who must have this watch? Well, if you are a big guy, loves sports and Japanese watchmaking and want to have a fancy diver with a nicely decorated in-house caliber inside, then this Citizen is definitely the way to go. Its sunburst dial and orange minute hand will always make you feel a little happier every time you put it on your wrist. And that's pretty it for now. Please click the like button and subscribe to our channel if you find it worth your attention. For more live pictures of the watch, visit our site tictacmir.com. And again, this is the Citizen Grand Touring Sport reference NB1031-53L, where watches they're worth it. Take care.